forerunner of Google Larry met Sergey Brin while attending Stanford University. They built a search engine that uses links to determine the importance of individual pages on the World Wide Web. The search engine is called Backrub. After discussion, Backrub's name was changed to Google which was inspired by the word Google which refers to a number equal to 10 to the power of 100. The website Google.com was registered on the World Wide Web in 1997. Over the next few years, Google attracted the attention of the academic community and investors. Launching Google, in August 1998, Andy Bechtelsheim wrote a check to Larry and Sergey for 100,000 US dollars and Google Incorporated officially established. The injection of funds helped Larry and Sergey's team set up an office in a garage in Menlo Park, California. Google continued to grow until it was able to establish its headquarters in Mountain View, California. Larry Edward Page or better known as Larry Page is the founder of the Google search engine with Sergey Brin. Google is a subsidiary of Alphabet Incorporated, the holding company of an American multinational technology conglomerate headquartered in Mountain View, California. Larry Page's success did not happen instantly, since childhood he has been in the computer field because of the influence of his parents. My goal is for Google to lead not follow. The perfect search engine will understand what you mean and give you back what you want. We must build something great that has never existed. Always working hard on something that isn't fun. Always deliver more than expected. Any conversation I have about innovation starts with an end goal. If we were motivated by money, we would have sold the company far in the past and would have ended up on the beach. But the truth is not. If you're not doing something crazy, then you're doing something wrong. I think it's easier to make progress on a mega ambitious dream. Because no one else is crazy enough to do it, so you have very few competitors. In fact, there are very few people who are that crazy. We've done a lot of things. And sometimes, the only way to be successful is to experience many failures first.